WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish down 100, NASDAQ off 34, S&P's down 8.5, uh, all with light volume, folks. Uh, bottom line is that uh, we're still uh, running around the B to C point of uh, more like a much larger ABC structure on the way down. Gold. Gold was flat, 12.73 an ounce. We had silver at $14.42 an ounce. Uh, over in the light, sweet crude market, uh, that took a hit, folks. We got plenty of gasoline, plenty, plenty of crude. If we take a look at this, you're going to see monster volume on the way down. 745,000 contracts traded inside of this oil contract out here today. Once the numbers came out this morning, and the numbers uh, came out with a good build. Um, I suspect what we're going to see out here, more than likely tomorrow or the next day, it's going to go after this lower swing point of $60.30. More than likely, we're going to break it. It looks to me like we're going to run down to the next level consolidation floor here of about 58. Uh, doesn't hold 58, then you're going to be down there at 56. But bottom line, uh, coming into the summer months, uh, we have plenty of gasoline, plenty of oil, all of the above. Notes and bonds still want higher price. Uh, they had a big day out here today. Um, particularly because the market really, you know, was a sideways market. That note and bond market, uh, bottom line, once again went higher. You had the, uh, and with volume behind the move. We had, on the 10-year, you get 1.4 million contracts. And, you know, this very well, what's going to get interesting here is this, is that the note and bond market itself has been going after this high from um, March, uh, March 27th, you know, the last four weeks. We made it almost up to the high. And as we made it up to the high, what had happened, folks, is that we started this run higher on April 12th. So it was a one-way run going higher. When you do that, most markets get tired at the high. And that's what that exactly happened. That being said, then the last four days, we pulled back with light volume. Well, guess what? We had an expansion of volume today. This could be an ABC structure on the way up that will not only just blow away the 124.31, which is the last high, but yet go a lot higher. Because when I do take a look at your 10-year yield, and we put that chart up, what you're going to see that's wide open right now is 2%. That's what it looks like to me that we're going. You know, uh, we're at 2.3 right now. All you have to do is break that 2.338 forward, and we're at 2.23. We're at 2.385 right now. And then you'll see 2% fast and furious. Stay right there, folks. Got some numbers coming out after the close. Dow finished down 100. NASDAQ off 34. S&P's down 8.5. Come right back.